Hey everyone, I'm just going to do a little short video here to kind of warm up and um, I have a stencil here that I got through Drew Blair and it's really great for texture. There's a lot of texture on the shirt so what I'll do is I'll take a piece of uh, white paper and I will just spray a little bit of this India ink on it just to show you maybe a little darker in one spot here just to show you the kind of texture you can get all right so there you go that'll add <clears throat> very nice texture to the jacket i have to make sure that when i put it on it you know it has the right angle you know, the reference picture the angle seems to be going in one direction obviously so I'm just going to add a little bit here at a time, and we can zoom in on it a little bit after I get something going. Spraying very uh, careful. I think about subtlety. All right, so let me zoom in on that. Hopefully you can see some of the texture. There you go, right in here. All right. Now there's shadings and things that will go like alongside so that while I got it in close let me let me start to bring the shadow off of here onto the shirt the jacket I should say right. trying to work with my new glasses I have uh, I told everyone on the last video I've been dealing with floaters severe floaters in my right eye and uh, I have my new glasses <laughs> surgery didn't happen because of uh, not too high of a too high of a risk, and it's a long story. But I'm trying to do something here, you know. So anyway, darkening and shading over the stencil. The stencil becomes less and less visible, you might say, than the actual. Um, you want to hide it. You want to. You want the texture. A little freehand in here. Very, very rusty. Um, I'm, I'm rusty. I haven't been airbrushing since July. A uh, little here and there, but that's when my eyesight started to go bad. Um, as I explained in the other video, I took a piece of celluloid and I splattered some um, ink on it. So my vision, I'm looking through something like that. But not as severe and as dark. I was trying to just give an example. It's probably more like those little guys, okay? And they're they're blocking my view. And at times they block it really bad. At other times they, you know, like I said, this is an exaggerated, you know, because I'm zoomed in. So let me let me zoom out for a minute. Okay. So what I'm looking at is when I see the artwork in front of me. I have to deal with a cluster, not all of them, but just a cluster of them, like right in here. And as I look up or look down, they like to go with me. But anyway, it's a very high risk surgery. And I have a cataract in my right eye, so I'm legally blind in my right eye. So my good eye, which is the one with all the floaters now, is wrestling with this new wonderful dilemma that started in 2020 and is still hanging in there. Uh, anyway, let's let's zoom in and try to get this stencil to give me a little more texture. Um, I'm not trying to copy exact from the photo because it's just it's just very busy in here of little things that um, you can go in later. Like I'll try to show you on here. Okay, so you got your stencil. Okay. Then you're going to go in and you're going to find some areas that might be a little, and you use a pump stroke, might be a little bit more, you know, fuzzies broken up and what you, you know, what you're looking for inside this jacket. And you've got some darker areas that might be here. And then you've got lighter areas. And then there's other, there's other designs and stuff that are cross-hatching and going in different directions. But basically, you want, I want to shade, you know, the actual uh, 
black and white, I mean black and white. I want to shade the shirt, the jacket, in areas that I feel it needs it. Uh, let's see, it's got texture everywhere, so I can come over here, and now this one's going in a little different direction, so I'll be holding it this way. And I'm just gonna, I have a dark mixture in here, trying to get it to be seen. Okay, so. I don't want to get too heavy-handed. Okay, so now we've got, um, probably wasn't zoomed right there. Okay, so let's zoom, and I'll just turn the video camera a little. So it's just adding more and more as I go. Um, so let's unzoom. My reference is... on different areas. Okay, um, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. All right, guys, uh, hopefully I'm seeing a little audio problem on my phone. Hopefully it won't be there. I'm gonna continue and I'll have to just check the video out. All right, so for Curly's head, I am going to darken some that are very dark, very, um, I'll use a pump stroke here. I'm just going to go second coat it. Put some pump strokes in, basically air on, pump back and forth a little bit, giving it texture, looking for very dark areas that are that's in his crew cut. So back and forth, clusters pull further away. And then just look at it further and further. I kept looking at the picture, even though I'm having the eyesight problem. And I was like, wait a minute, man, there's a lot, a lot darker, a lot of darker areas that I have to work on. Like on the chin area here. I'm just gonna freehand that in a little bit. Pull away, because it's kind of soft. Again, I'm working on something from back in the summer, and I'm gonna be starting something new, but right now it's like, I figured I'd just do a little stencil thing to get you guys to see something, and from there, I will just keep going after this, and, uh, going after more, maybe larger size things for my eyesight, you know, so that I don't have to worry about working too small. I gotta figure this out because I don't wanna lie down and give up, you know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's a crazy thing that's going on. I used to joke around and call myself from like the Goonies, One-Eyed Willie, because I worked with one eye my whole career, um, legally blind in the right eye. Uh, retina problem, you know wrinkled retina. But anyway, I made it through 30 years in the sign business and basically could see pretty good, except once this good eye started to say, you know, started to kick up trouble, it was a whole new animal that's happened to me, you know. It's, I guess I thought it could happen to me one day, but you really don't want to believe it. You know, it's, the floaters just started coming on me and building up and getting worse. I could see them in the sunlight, and then I had to live with it. But then it started to show up indoors. All right, so you can see where I'm going with this. Curly's hair, let's say we'll go zoom in on this for a second. And I'm gonna deepen right over here a little bit. Strain. Um, again, I'm looking through bifocals. I never had bifocals before. It's kind of crazy, you know. Um, but I gotta just get used to everything and try to work around my dilemma. I don't think I can get the surgery. I think it's too risky. They literally go in and take the uh, floaters out. I forget what it's called. Um, but being one eye. 
one good eye only. It's very risky. I could I could really go blind in both eyes, meaning legally detached retina, anything could happen. So I am trying to paint through this nightmare and if I have to work the size I'm, you know, really large, then that's what I'm gonna have to do because I don't want to stop painting, you know. It's just too much. This is what we do. We're artists. Get better as far as the hair. We got some texture in the clothing. And that's it. I'm going to call this video. And thank you for checking it out. And hopefully... Uh, it came out because there's a lot of notes coming up on my phone saying that there's problems. Okay, take care. I'll talk to you in the next video.